Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Joey Bianconi. All right, welcome back, everybody. We had a beautiful double red rainbow over Helena just a few moments ago, just right at sunrise. It was right here, but it's gone now because sunrise is over. But it was a really cool weather phenomenon. I posted a picture of it on Facebook and Instagram if you all want to take a look at it. But it happens when right at sunrise you get the sun rays and it only picks up the red and yellow rays because green and blue, they're shorter wavelengths, they are scattered. So our eyes will only see the red and yellow. And then you combine that with a double rainbow, which is uh, the drops getting reflected twice by the sun's rays. And it's a pretty rare phenomenon. It's pretty cool. So 59 degrees, partly cloudy skies out there in Helena right now. Beautiful sunrise out there in Great Falls right now. 50 degrees and we're all pretty warm this morning. We are in the 50s across the board across the state right now. So enjoy those warm mornings while it lasts because it's not going to last much longer going into this weekend. But we will be very warm into this afternoon. We will be in the mid to upper 80s for a lot of us as a dry cold front will come through Helena and Great Falls. But some other locations will get rain. We'll go into that a little bit. It's a little breezy near Haver, Jordan, but most of the state is on the calmer side right now. We'll have a little bit of a breezy northwest conditions uh, around this afternoon in Helena and Great Falls, northern Rocky Mountain front, those reds popping up, but not too bad today. The winds will die down overnight, but we'll have another cold front move through tomorrow. Notice these pinks cutting up near Cut Bank. We have a high wind watch out there right now. Livingston, Dillon, Bozeman, those pinks showing up near there. Some gusty wind possible, 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts tomorrow, and that continues on into tomorrow night as well. So we have that high wind watch. It's not popping up on our graphics right now, but it is still uh, out there near Cut Bank and the East Glacier area. Winter storm watches for a lot of the Rocky Mountain Front and Glacier National Park. The Big Belts, Little Belts, the Elkhorns, the Boulders, a lot of the mountains of Southwest Montana. So at least downtown Helena and the Helena Valley is not included in any winter weather advisory or warning or watch right now, but a lot of the surrounding higher terrain is including mountain passes. McDonald Pass could get a little bit of snow going into Monday and Tuesday. So it's gonna be a little bit of a rough travel day as temperatures will drop into the Helena Valley about 50 degrees. So it's going to be quite cold out there. Four to eight inches of snow expected anywhere in this winter storm watch as of right now. But we'll likely see some warnings going into this weekend. So light showers across western Montana right now. We had a few lightning strikes in Helena earlier this morning. Just some light showers out there at the moment making their way towards the east. We do have a severe weather threat for a lot of southern Montana today. Bozeman, Billings, Miles City, Glendive, the major population centers included in that. We'll have a little bit of gusty winds with those storms that do form out there, but it's going to be isolated in nature with some small hail. Tomorrow, our threats upgraded a level two out of five risk, slight risk for Glendive, areas east of Glasgow. Mile City is in a one out of five risk. Could see some bigger hail tomorrow as well as those gusty winds. So those lighter showers will continue their trek eastward this morning, and then we'll have in the afternoon. These storms form just to the south and east of Bozeman, Few of these storms could be on the stronger side as they make their way through Billings. And then by tonight, a lot of those stronger storms will be in southeastern Montana. We'll have some rain developing in western Montana along the cold front tomorrow morning. That'll move through Helena and Great Falls. We'll get some thunderstorm activity with those. And then tomorrow afternoon, northeastern Montana, several of these storms could be on the stronger side as well as they trek through Glas Glasgow tomorrow uh, late afternoon and early evening, and then that's finally out of our states. We'll have a somewhat dry Father's Day, but here's the snow expected for Monday and Tuesday. So that low pressure makes its way through Monday. It'll stick around till Tuesday. We'll be in the 50s for our temperatures, and it's going to be very cold, 20 to, four, 20 to 25 degrees below average. First day of summer is on Thursday. At least that'll be nice with temperatures in the 70s.